Hello everyone, welcome to the getting started video for topology optimization in ANSYS Discovery. If this is your first time using the ANSYS Discovery tool, please be sure to review all the slides on the welcome screen as there is a lot of great information on how to get acclimated with using the tool. Let's get started. First, let's go ahead and import our geometry. Navigate to Browse, and then Open Geometry File. Navigate to your geometry file location, select the file, and open the geometry. Now that the geometry is loaded, we can begin to set up our simulation. In this example, we will be focusing on the topology optimization of the white brackets shown here. First, we need to isolate this object as the only object for our physics region. We can do so by simply clicking on the geometry, and right-clicking and say Solve Physics on Selection Only, or navigating to our geometry tree where we have access to our Add and Remove Physics buttons, as well as hiding and showing the other objects in the simulation. For this example, let's go ahead and hide all other objects except for this blocky bracket. For topology optimization, we will need to begin to set up a static structural simulation for the topology optimization to run. First, let's go ahead and set up our supports on the seven tabs around the outside. Let's go ahead and select one of these faces, and then control, holding control, we can select all of the faces around the outside of the domain. Once we have the geometry selected, we can begin to set up our boundary conditions. For these locations, we will be needing to use a fixed support. You can access the physics boundary conditions by using the ribbon tab or by using the hex which exposes our halo where we have access to all of our controls. Let's go ahead and select our support icon. This opens our heads-up display where we have access to be able to supply different types of supports based on the geometry selected. In this example, let's go ahead and click the check mark to accept our def default conditions or we can simply hit enter. Next, we'll need to set up our forces on the six bolt holes on this face here. Let's go ahead and select the geometry first and then choose our support force icon. As of right now, we're in the support tool, but we need to be in the force tool. Simply navigate and select the force icon. If you're unsure what any of these icons mean, please remember to hit F1 for our overlay help, which is context sensitive, meaning that the help will be provided in the context that you are looking at. So in this example, if I hit F1, we can see that this icon is pressure and this one is displacement. If we navigate over to force, we can see this is exactly what we need. Click the right X in the top right to close this window. For the force in this example, we want to apply it at a remote point to represent the other components in the assembly. To do so, simply check the remote point icon. For this location, let's set our X and Y components to zero while leaving the Z at the default location. Next, let's open up the double arrow window here by simply clicking it once. And this opens our vector components for our force. Let's go ahead and apply it with a 200 Newton load in the negative Z direction. Once you have entered this value, simply hit enter. And this will apply the force. To exit our heads up display, simply hit escape two times. Now that we have our static structural simulation set up, let's go ahead and set up our topology optimization. To access the topology optimization function, navigate to the ribbon where you'll find the topology optimization button. Simply click this object and a few things will happen here. First, you notice our heads up display is changed to a new context with respect to topology optimization options. In the bottom, by our simulation information display, you'll notice that the topology optimization icon is now enabled. On the left side of our heads up display, we have a variety of options on how the topology optimization algorithm will work. If you wish to look at these options in more detail, press F1 to access the overlay help menu. In this case, let's just focus on maximizing the stiffness of this design. On the right side of our heads up display, we have a variety of options that will tailor the results of our topology optimization, such as maximize thickness, reduce by volume, or pull direction. We will cover these in a more detailed video in the future.
For this example, let's go ahead and reduce our volume reduction to about 30%. Next, let's take a look at our protected distance. The protected distance is the protected region that tells the solver not to remove this amount of area around our boundary conditions. So knowing that we have our fixed supports in our remote distributed force, we'll notice that an area of 0.11931 meters is going to be protected from our solver. Now that we have this set up, we can simply hit enter and escape two times to close our heads up display. Now that we have this set up, we are ready to solve. At this point, please go down to the bottom right corner to our physics arc or the results display arc and click the green solve button and then we can begin to watch the topology optimization algorithm run. Now that the simulation has finished running, we can click pause to safely review the results. As we rotate the model, we can see the nice organic shape that the simulation was able to generate for us based on the static loading conditions that we previously applied. The one last task that we want to do is we want to convert this to a faceted or an STL geometry. It's a very simple task in ANSYS Discovery, and all you need to do is simply click this object in the bottom right corner. After doing so, Let's go ahead and turn off our contours so that we can better review the faceted geometry. By default, the faceted geometry is going to be entered into our geometry tree in the top left corner. By clicking and then right clicking on this object, we can see the further results such as creating a validation simulation, smoothing our faceted geometry, or converting this faceted geometry into a solid CAD file. Thank you for watching this Getting Started video, and we hope that you found it helpful. Thank you. Have a great day.